So it happened. Somebody from Obsidian Entertainment said the words, make a Fallout game. This past week, we got our first official comments from Obsidian Entertainment about a Fallout game from their studio, at least in the era after the Microsoft acquisition of Bethesda. The Obsidian Fallout game being dubbed Fallout New Vegas 2 by the community and even the media somewhat, even though most people don't actually think it'll be a sequel to New Vegas, it's just a nice and convenient way to call that game. And specifically in this video, we're gonna be looking at two separate comments made by Obsidian that I think reveal a pretty interesting future. On October 10th, it was the 25th anniversary of the release of the original Fallout, and to commemorate this, Bethesda made a really cool video from the creators of that original Fallout, talking about things like how Fallout came to be and some of their inspirations for it. But after it was posted, the official Obsidian Twitter account retweeted it, saying, Happy 25th anniversary to the original Fallout, a franchise whose roots helped form us in a world we truly love. And before anyone asks, our plates are pretty full right now, so no. That second sentence being an answer that no, they aren't working on a Fallout game right now because they are so busy. And although it seems like that is largely just said in jest, it actually is an interesting confirmation as we have seen some rumors of talks of an Obsidian-based Fallout beginning. Not that there was necessarily development going on, but at least discussions about whether or not that could be a reality in the future were going on. And although that tweet was interesting, a slight confirmation, the far more interesting quote came a few days later from the CEO of Obsidian with Fergus, I can't pronounce his last name. He was also featured in that retrospective from Bethesda, but shortly thereafter, he did an interview where he was asked if Obsidian would be interested in working on Fallout again, to which he responded, of course, if we ever got the opportunity to make another Fallout game, we'd make it. There's not even a question of whether or not we would do it, it's just will the opportunity arise? I hung around at Interplay for probably an extra year because I wanted to work on Fallout more. I love Fallout. Interplay, of course, made the original Fallout games and was actually working on the original Fallout 3 with Van Buren, but they continue on. At some point, we'll start looking into what those next games are going to be, and I would be surprised if Fallout is not on that list. If we were to do Fallout, it has to tie in with what Bethesda is doing with Fallout and a lot of other things. But I would always personally say, my hope is that before I ride off into the sunset, I love to make another Fallout game. So the update on Fallout New Vegas 2 is Obsidian is not currently working on a Fallout game, but the CEO definitely wants to and will very likely try to get Obsidian working on a Fallout game in the future. The question isn't if they want to do it, the question is will they be allowed to or will they be able to do it? I've talked a bit about this in the past, but the issue with an Obsidian based Fallout is frankly the same as a Bethesda one. They are just too busy. Obsidian is currently working on both Avowed and The Outer Worlds, among several other smaller projects. So exactly like Bethesda, Obsidian just has way too much going on to actually do a Fallout game at least anytime soon. It's not like they could just cancel one of these AAA projects and move over to Fallout, even if that's what many fans are hoping Obsidian does or would want to see them do that. And even in the case of their next AAA game with Avowed, it seems like it might be having some issues. It's now been over two years since we've heard or seen really anything about that game. And if some of the leaked details are true, it does suggest that people are leaving the project and some things had to be reworked around the game, so it still may be several years away, not even a 2023 release. But I think this also gets to the larger point of will Obsidian even be allowed to work on a Fallout game? The last time we heard this topic discussed, Todd Howard said this. Does does Fallout uh, just go to the back of the line? As far as main line, you know, yes, there's 76, but as far as the main line Fallout, right. is that going to the back of the line or is that a thing where you've now got an entire... Uh, Xbox family at your back and people sure. like in exile and obsidian and is there is there a scenario where you hand fallout off I don't see look fallout's really part of our DNA here yeah we've worked with other people from time to time I can't say what's gonna happen you know we have a one pager on on fallout 5 what we want to do again if I could wave my hand and say have, have <laughs> right. that out um, you know I'd like to find a way to accelerate what we do um, but I, I can't really say today uh, or commit to anything what's going to happen when other than hey, our cadence is Starfield and then Elder Scrolls 6. You and even just at the start of that quote, it almost sounds like Todd Howard was going to say, I don't see us handing Fallout off to anyone else. I don't see, look, Fallout's really part of our- And in general, this answer supports the idea that Fallout will stay in-house. And if anything, since that interview, Todd Howard has further confirmed this. We know that Fallout 5 is now coming after the Elder Scrolls 6. Todd Howard confirmed that shortly after the Starfield gameplay trailer, which I could honestly see a timeline where this all makes sense. This interview came out in November of 2021. Todd Howard talks about having a one-pager on Fallout 5, but otherwise talks about how he isn't sure what's going to happen with the future. He seems to suggest that Fallout will stay in-house and how it's part of Bethesda's DNA, but it doesn't really give concrete answers. Compared to what he 
has to say seven months later where he just casually mentions that Bethesda is working on Fallout 5 after the Elder Scrolls 6, which felt very definitive, and I wouldn't be shocked if in that seven month window, maybe there actually were discussions about what's going to happen next with Fallout. It was during the same time we heard those rumors of Obsidian and Fallout being used in the same sentence. Perhaps Obsidian's name came up and they realized, oh, they're also just too busy, so they're going to keep it at Bethesda for now. Obviously, we don't really know how Bethesda's internal roadmap looked or what was going on in general, but at the time of this interview in November of 2021, it definitely didn't seem like it was confirmed or a definite thing that Bethesda was making Fallout 5 after the Elder Scrolls 6. When it comes to this interview though, it seems like that was definitely decided. And one of the interesting realities here is we don't really know who's making this call. Of course, Microsoft owns Fallout, but perhaps Todd Howard and Bethesda Game Studios are the ones largely still in control of it. Just because Microsoft technically can give Fallout to anyone they choose doesn't mean that's actually how things are working. Maybe Bethesda wants to stay in control of it, and as a result, Bethesda is staying in control of it. Although, one counterpoint to this, at least somewhat, is with Fallout 76. We've actually been seeing them get a lot of outside help with that game. Bethesda Game Studios Austin has largely been behind Fallout 76 since the beginning, but we now actually know they have three support studios on the game. That with Double Eleven, Sparrowsoft, and Skybox Labs. Sparrowsoft has been a major support studio for years now, it's nothing new. It was only just made public that they were helping with the game. But Double Eleven was only there as of late 2021 it seems. And their big update with Nuka World on tour just went into public testing on the public test server. It looks phenomenal. It's actually some of the most fun I've had on Fallout 76 in years, so that definitely gets me hopeful for the future. And Skybox Labs is a pretty interesting situation where they may have only started working on Fallout 76 a couple of months ago. Technically, there's not been an official press release or any report that they are working on the game, but you could find it on their website, you could find job listings on their website for people to work on Fallout 76, so it seems like they were just recently taken on as an additional support studio. So despite Todd Howard's comments here, there definitely are other studios working directly on Fallout, or at least somewhat on Fallout with Fallout 76, but at the same time, perhaps this is the agreement. Bethesda Game Studios makes Fallout 5 down the road, and in the meantime, Microsoft pumps a bunch more money into Fallout 76 by hiring these extra support studios, and in turn, the game hopefully gets a bunch of additional content to fill that void, to fill the gap. Because if you look at the roadmap right now, even if Bethesda Bethesda somehow manages a three-year gap between games going forward, which would be remarkable, Fallout 5 still wouldn't come out until 2029, which is kind of absurd. But frankly, even if you gave Obsidian a Fallout game, they'd almost be in a similar situation with their timetable, or at least that's what it seems like publicly. And who knows, there could be some other internal stuff going on with Fallout, whether it be smaller remake projects, or even a Fallout 4 remaster with a bunch of extra Creation Club content. Don't forget the Fallout TV show is coming, and there's probably going to be a ton of additional players coming to the game, so they probably want to monetize that. They have Fallout 76, but who knows, maybe something else could come. We saw how big of a boost Cyberpunk got with Edge Runners. And I think for a lot of people, what they hope to happen is almost like exactly what CDPR just did. They have CDPR EU, which is largely going to work on The Witcher, and CDPR NA, which will be only working on Cyberpunk. A dedicated Fallout studio within Bethesda Game Studios is what many fans are hoping for, or at least some other studio within Microsoft to take over Fallout and get something out sooner, but as of right now, it just doesn't seem like that's happening. And in conclusion, on the topic of a Fallout New Vegas 2 from Obsidian, it seems like Obsidian definitely wants to work on Fallout again, but that isn't happening anytime soon. And frankly, we don't even know if Bethesda Game Studios slash Microsoft will let them work on Fallout, but they'll probably try to. With that said, that is the update. Hopefully you guys found this video informative. With that said though, as always again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.